This is a case who's come to us for stem cell for decreased ovarian reserve. We have Dr. Anand Vadera here who would now like to uh, tell you about the bone marrow aspiration. So <clears throat> this is the anterior superior iliac spine and the iliac crest. You can see very clearly because this is a very lean and thin skinny patient. And uh, I'm going to put my needle. This is a special needle called Jamshidi needle. You can see this needle into the inner, in between the both the tables of the iliac crest that is between inner cortex and the outer cortex and through which I'm going to take out the bone marrow. And this bone marrow I'm going to hand over to, to our stem cell man, Dr. Prabhu Mishra. And he is going to demonstrate to you how it has been separated. Bone marrow. We basically make the bone marrow aspirated concentrate from uh, this uh, bone marrow aspirates. And uh, this is a falcon tube, conical tubes, in which we have already have the 1 is to 10 ratio of the heparin and uh, one of the specific growth factors called granulocyte colony stimulating factors, which are 1 cc. So basically, uh, it mobilizes the bone marrow as well as it makes the concentrate, which are hematopoietic stem cells rich and many other cytokines which facilitates the regeneration as well as the changes in, in their AMH and other hormones like FSH. And uh, most of the patients like uh, even here, we did more than 100 patients, uh, around 80 to 100 patients in the last six to seven years. And if you'll see the statistics around, uh, it falls in between of the 47 to 53% of the statistics with respect to the changes into the hormone level, either FSH, AMH, as well as to the poly follicular genesis. So this is a uh, one cc of uh, GCSF, gran granulocyte colony simulating factor. Yes. And uh, uh, and the uh, uh, heparin, uh, basically one is to ten ratio of the heparin, which are five thousand international unit, and uh, uh, five thousand international unit. And if uh, we are having the vial of twenty five thousand international unit, then with respect to of the samples content.